Alright, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Prop Kids. So, um, first things first, uh, the new Spider-Man Homecoming trailer just released. Well, no, it actually didn't just release. It released a while back for you guys, because by the time I'm filming this, it would have already came out for like about a week or so, or two weeks, I'm not sure. But anyways, um, today I'm doing the Spider-Man Homecoming web shooter because if you guys are not already informed about it, uh, Tony Stark will be taking away the cool suit we saw in Civil War and then he's going to have to go back to the... So because he's going to be doing that, he gets, uh, well he uses his original web shooters, which are a little different. So I have a picture of the web shooter, it should be right here, but if you just search up, uh, it's like Spider-Man Homecoming Starter Suit Web Shooters, uh, that's what it's called, so yeah. So if you just search that up, you'll find a bunch of images, like I have this one right here that I'm using, um, so like right here, I'm starting to sketch out kind of like, it's a really simple build that's why I decided to do it for you guys because you know I uh, what really made my channel shoot up was the Power Ranger stuff and I've done like how many builds was it of Power Ranger? It was two builds but they all had like two parts so that was like four Power Ranger videos so uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more Marvel so I'm gonna start to sketch out the patterns for this and uh, you guys can see me sketching it out One thing you guys would, uh, I'd recommend doing is when you cut pieces out, make sure to label them. Like uh, these parts, you're going to really want to label because this would be a pain to figure out. Alright, so now that I have my patterns all cut out, it's time to transfer them to the foam. So I'm just going to transfer them to the foam. And then, uh, yeah. So I'll do that and you guys can see me doing it.
so I finished gluing all the pieces got glued and then I went in with a hot knife and I burnt in these details so and then I also smoothed down the edges to make them a little more get a curved edge yeah so now it's time to glue the tubes in place in place for that I'm using some straws um, so it'll be something like this anyways as you guys can see I glued the straws in place and look at that looks really cool really accurate um, to the original one there should be a side-by-side -side picture right here and I think it turned out really close so I'm happy with the way it came out now that's it for today uh, no not that's well for me right now but this is not the end of the video if that's what you're thinking um, but yeah so I just uh, just glued all the straws in place so now that's it for tonight I'm gonna do the other web shooter tomorrow and show you guys how to do the web trigger tomorrow but yeah I'm gonna go to bed all right, next day I'm making my second web shooter. Um, uh, yeah. As you can see, this one I did last night is a sample. Well, not a sample, but as the other web shooter, as the other web shooter <laughs> to see if it would work. And it did, so I'm following those templates and making another one. So, I'm gonna make another one. Then we'll work on the arm brace and then the web triggers and then painting it. Yeah. All right, so I finished both of them. Both web shooters are done. They look absolutely amazing. Um, so I, now I have to make the uh, wristband for these web shooters. All right, so for the handle, <clears throat> I cut out a piece of red fabric and I just glued the edges so that way it seems that the tips are nice and this is optional you guys can actually just hot glue it um, but I think I'm gonna sew it so that way sew it like that and then it'll be the strap for my arm but uh, I'm gonna do that and I'll show you guys once I've sewn it see the stitches came out okay and not the best but you know, it, it works for an armband let me put this on for you guys and it looks pretty good fits around my hand nicely and then this will probably be covered by those little silver things he has around the wrist but uh pretty good so I'm gonna make the other one I'm gonna make the other one and then um, We'll work on the painting the web shooters and the trigger. Alright guys, so it's time to paint the part. It's time to paint this. So I'm going to paint it up with a coat of black, first of all. And then we will do all the silver. So I'm going to get those paints ready. Okay, so first up, give this thing a coat of some black paint.
So while those are drying, I have to make the, like, I don't know what they are, but they're panels that wrap around here. So they're little rectangles and there's one like every inch. So I have to do those. So I'm gonna make those right now. All right, so as you can see here, I finished the entire stack. I have about, I have six of these. They're just two pieces of foam glued together and six of those. So now it's time to shape them up and then that should be it and then we can paint them. So yeah. All right, so I painted the web shooters with clear gloss and I forgot to film it but I glued the web shooters to the um, little hand piece that I made. Um, I still have to put the bands around the back but um, I just finished painting those bands that go around the back silver and then we're gonna glue them on and then um, yeah and then that'll probably be it for the build. So all the silver panel pieces dried I painted them with some clear gloss and now it's time to glue them on to the back and the sides of the web shooters. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, that is the web shooter all glued. I just need to do the web trigger. Um, now I miscalculated about the back pieces. I said there was only supposed to be three, but there actually has to be four on the back. So I screwed up on that. But um, I think it turns, it looks, and looks really cool. So I have to make the web trigger and then make two more of these back panels for the other hand. And then uh, that's, that's the build. Alrighty guys, so yeah, that's it for the prop. As you guys can see right here, it looks pretty good. Um, now I haven't made the other one yet, but uh, I just wanted to teach you guys how to make one. So it looks pretty good. It turned out really accurate compared to the movie one. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Um, looks good. And uh, the fabric, I'm really happy that I, I used uh, fabric and not Velcro. The Velcro would have made it look a little funny. But yeah guys, so that's it for the Spider-Man Homecoming web shooter. Um, I hope you guys all like the build. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you guys want me to build one of your ideas, make sure to comment them down below. Um, and, and next time, um, we're going to be doing a Q&A video. So yeah, I asked you guys to turn in your questions, and I got a good response. And if you guys uh, still want me to do... Uh, one of your questions will make sure to leave them down below so uh, yeah so that's it for the belt and uh, for all you Power Rangers fans out there don't worry uh, I will be doing a white ranger helmet uh, soon so uh, we so yeah be sure to look for that uh, but without further ado that's gonna do it for the prop I'll see you guys next time prop, get out.